Who needs to go to the outside? Your choice. You go to the outside then, Vanessa. I'm thrilled to be spending the morning with VRC Ambassador Gay Waterhouse at Royal Randwick. Ed, give her a trot around the middle. She's a bit full of herself. With over 100 Group 1 wins to her name, I'm hoping to draw on the experience and advice from this Hall of Fame legendary trainer. They're not a good pair, that pair. No, no, no. Put, put Lauren on the lifeline. It's an easier horse to ride. Steve would be better on the grey. So who three. will I go out with? You're, you're going to go on Canner anyway, but you're yeah. going to go on Castel San Angelo, mm -hmm. you're going to go on the Heart of the Bar and Ulu Saba. Okay. So we'll give you another staff member to come out and take you out there. Yeah, yeah, perfect, because I have no yeah. idea where I'm going. Trot along, trot along the pony as well. Okay. Okay. One, two, three. Oh, sorry. Yeah. There we go. So Georgia. Walk just over there for a bit, will you? Yeah. Yeah, got her. Where, where's his pony? I want him with a pony. Ed, he's already put you off once, hasn't he? Well, why would you change the bowling today? Come on. Georgia, get over there and walk around, please. Sure. Gay, thank you so much for having us here at Randwick this morning. Now, you've been a VRC ambassador for a couple of years now? Absolutely. I feel I've been a, a, a VRC ambassador since the day I was born. Good. <laughs> exactly right. It's like right. wearing a, a very comfortable uh, pair of shoes or a lovely, lovely, uh, comfortable dress. And of course, Georgia, you're going on a great riding experience in the next few weeks, aren't you? I am. I'm going to the Magnolia Cup. It's an 1100 metre race down the straight. And it's at Glorious Goodwood. Yes. It Glorious is. Goodwood's one of the great tracks of England. It's an interesting track because it's like a figure eight. So you start off in one direction and then you go around. You won't have to go that far. And then you come back and you go like that. So it's a figure eight. There's nowhere else in the world like it. You're back too far and, and you're using all the wrong muscles. Yeah. And you feel buggered by the uh, you've only done one lap. Yeah. And then the knees. The knees. The knees. <laughs> That's what you got, and you got to get there. And then you've got your arms, and then you're riding it like that. Yeah. That's how you got to do it. Okay. And you'll change your posture, and if you change your posture, you'll be much stronger. Okay. If you don't have the strength, they're going to bolt on you. Yeah. And now he's a very quiet horse. Yeah. But by the time you've done one lap, you're saying, oh my gosh, what you put me on? All that time I waited, I got that horse? <laughs> <laughs> no. <laughs> how would you instruct me to ride the race? I'd say go very steadily, my dear. <laughs> <laughs> it's the, you, you know, the, the, in England, everyone's out at Newmarket on the Downs or Lambourne. You know, the gallops there are much more testing than what we have in Australia. I think you should be doing lots and lots of riding, like one horse after another horse after another horse after mm -hmm. another horse, and really getting your anaerobic level up because you will get the shock of your lifetime when you hit that Goodwood. We all go down the beach after this. Do you? Yes, you should all go down the beach and see it. I don't mean swim. No. <laughs> Can you tell us a little bit about why you go out to the beach with your horses? What's the purpose? Other than to watch the planes come and go, as you saw, <laughs> it freshens their minds. You know, they're not pounding the ground all the time. They can go and they can have a swim. And as you saw this morning, they swim a very long way up. It was astonishing. Astonishing. <laughs> yeah, so I say almost to Auckland and back. And then they swim out there with their, with their handler and they don't have any weight on their back. So they're not concussing. And you know, the, the horse is able to really swim at the, the, the speed of a gallop freshened up, you can have a roll in the sand and the lovely fresh air there. Uh, you know, it's very important to keep the horse's mind very fresh and happy. And probably one of my greatest successes with horses at group level has been using the beach. Now finally, how important do you think it is for us to promote women in racing in this country? See, the wonderful thing about racing, racing is one of the few sports that we girls can go and feel completely comfortable and safe. We can also dress up, have a lovely day out, and you feel not threatened. It's a lovely way of meeting other people, be it boys or girls. It, it, there's, it's something different. <laughs> one thing, if you go to the races, you know one or the other or all of you will end up having a bet and having a bit of fun. Yeah.